Hey guys, I'm Rob Bass, and this is Not Min Box. And today we are taking a look at Strike Fire Transport, Captain America's ultimate battle vehicle. This thing is probably one of the sickest, largest toys I've had in a long, long time. This whole thing you can tell is made by Hasbro. I have to apologize, the box doesn't fit in my photo tent, so I threw it on the couch. Checking out the front of the package, you get to see this cool box art. It tells you that it's the Strike Fire Transport. It's an ultimate battle weapon for Captain America. It comes with four shooting rocket launches. And of course, it comes with a Captain America and a bonus vehicle. Captain America gets an awesome motorcycle. This is the reason why I bought it. Not for the transport, but for the motorcycle. Of course, on the side of the package, you get more Captain America art, and we flip the package over. You get to see the toy inside, and a brief description, just like every other toy in the line. Alright guys, let's rip this package open. Dragging this gigantic box out of its outer box, we get to see the transport, and then you have to kind of attach some pieces in, mostly the uh, weapons. And there's the cap and the motorcycle. Taking it apart, you put the rocket launches and the Gatling gun on the. The Gatling gun goes on the turret, the rocket launches go on either side. You can place them pretty much where you want. They all shoot, because that's the gimmick they shoot. And Cap's motorcycle stores in the back, and Cap can drive it. Put in the photo and they can see it a lot better. Look at all this beautiful detail. This is probably one of the coolest looking G.I. Joe vehicles I've ever seen in my life. Yes, I call it a G.I. Joe vehicle because really, that's a G.I. Joe vehicle. They just painted it red, white, and blue and go call it Captain America, but that's a G.I. Joe vehicle. It's awesome too. The front cockpit opens up. A cap can drive it. A guy can go in the turret. And uh, all on the sides, uh, there's these side panels that flop down. You open the flat panels and... Uh, you can store stuff, like weapons, shields, whatever have you. But you can also put guys there to shoot stuff. And it's on both sides. The back of the truck flops open and the motorcycle can come out. This is pretty cool because Captain America having a vehicle that's a bigger vehicle with a motorcycle inside. Reminds me of the old comics when Cap had a van and a motorcycle. The motorcycle is just such a simple toy, easy plastic motorcycle, but it's painted it look like red, white, and blue. It's Cap's motorcycle, and the figure that comes with it isn't a bad action figure. It's not the greatest action figure, but he can sit on the motorcycle, and he can drive the gigantic strike fire transport truck. This is a series of images of the uh, toy itself. There's so much beautiful detail going on, and I have to give Hasbro credit. You know, making the Marvel Universe toys the size of G.I. Joe's is a smart way to go because now we can get vehicles and play sets, and I'm really, really dying for like an Avengers headquarters or some kind of cool, just fake, maybe a repaint of some Cobra headquarters and make it Red Skull. Just give me something, guys. Alright, overall, this vehicle is probably one of the best vehicles I've ever owned since I was a kid. You could put a lot of figures in it, so I don't want Cap fighting alone. Cap needs a sidekick, and I don't know, I don't want to put Bucky in this thing. Bucky doesn't look cool enough. You know what, Cap, Kimbo Slice, probably one of the toughest street homeless guys, is going to run the gun turret for you. The thing about the gun turret though, it doesn't really hold the figures like a uh, 
G.I. Joe's, like the old Cobra, his tank would have, where it had like little foot pegs and stuff. The figure just kind of flops around there, but being it's so big, you can put any figure you want that's three and three quarter inch. And that is cool. So, remember guys, do your toys. Play with them the way you want.